Okay, I have a headless install of the, of the Raspberry Pi, and now I'm going to install this Wi-Fi Connect headless Pi application. It's great for the headless. You don't have to have a headless connection, but I do. In fact, you can see it's just plugged into um, the power supply, and it's connected to the um, Wi-Fi network locally. But I want to be able to apply this application where if I change uh, local networks, I don't have to go in and manually adjust the you know the the Wi-Fi connection since I don't have a since I don't have a, a desktop situ situation where I, a mouse or a keyboard attached to it. So let's go ahead and connect to it. I'm uh, go ahead and going to collect to this local system and to my uh, headless through the. Raspberry Pi. Now this is a fresh install of the Raspbian operating system um, and um, and so there may be less steps you need. You may already have these things attached but let's go ahead and do it's always good to I'll go ahead and hit uh, sudo apt update um, all the directories here and then the Default Raspbian operating system did, did not does not have Git attached. So let's go ahead and um, install Git. Since I'm going to use um, my GitHub clone for the next system. Okay. Hit yes. Okay. While that is that is finished, let's go ahead and capture and get the clone from Git clone. Okay, load this into your system. Get this from the GitHub account that's shown in the blog. Okay, it's installed. Let's go ahead and now go to the scripts area. Okay, and you're gonna you're gonna run the RPI headless install script and this will do this for you can run this for you don't have to have a headless connection but um, this will work for a headless connection go ahead and run this script and this will install all of the packages that you need it checks to make sure currently it's it's required to have a bullseye uh, Raspbian bullseye version of the operating system and it checks about that, and it also also will check to see if you have the network manager attached at the right at the right uh, version level for this solution. Let's go ahead and finish this out. Okay, so it should be all attached. Now, uh, we've um, we replaced the Chrome tab, so it's ready to be released. So at startup, we're going to have to, we'll run this project if, and it will determine if there's a kind of local Wi-Fi connection. Now, since we're changing the Wi-Fi connection on this, it no longer knows about our local network. So as soon as I hit sudo reboot, it will go ahead and get off of the system. Well, it won't know about the system, so let's go ahead and reboot this. Okay, and so we've we've lost it. So now what we've done is it is now rebooting. And so now you go to your, your smartphone and go ahead and click on the Wi-Fi connection, and as it reboots, um, you will be looking for that particular Wi-Fi setup. Okay, and so it's currently called Wi-Fi Connect RPI, and then you will see your um, username attached at the end of it. So RPI dash headless Wi-Fi. This one doesn't have it, but uh, when you run your script, it will do that. So let's go ahead and connect to it. And when you connect to it, a browser connection will come up. Okay. Um, and then you're going to put in, you'll find the list of local SSDI connections that that the Raspberry Pi can detect in your local system. Go ahead and put in your password for your local system. Okay. 
and then hit connect. At this point, it will then disconnect from, it's no longer attached into my phone. And so in fact, my phone is going to go back to my local network here. And, um, and, and it will then disconnect and it will then go ahead and reconnect to the local system or the system that I've put into this, into, um, into my phone here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and try it out. Come back over here and let's see how it works. Yeah, there it is. Great, so now we have a Raspberry Pi headless install that can be moved to different Wi-Fi locations and you can use your smartphone or another uh, computer or laptop to access it um, and connect it to that local network. I hope you enjoy this script um, that we wrote, we wrote um, based on some previous open source software. Thank you.